Hey guys, it's Love Saloon here, and today I'm going to show you how to create this really cool Bellagio fountain bracelet. This was created by Suzanne HB on YouTube, and you can find her on Instagram as Crazy Just Might Work. She has some amazing designs, so please check her out and give her a follow. I will have her link in the box below. Um, this bracelet here takes about 150 bands depending on your wrist size, and it is a reversible. So you can wear it on this super cute side or on this super cool side, which I really like both. Um, this one here, I use the limited edition bands. So I think it looks a lot cooler and just cleaner with the limited edition. Um, but obviously it's up to your preference. This one I use. To make this bracelet, we will be working with five pins, three in the front here and two in the back. So you're going to want to have your two bar pins aligned like so. You could also use your monster tail um, since they have the aligned pins as well. You would just do the same directions that I'm doing except on the monster tail. Um, you need one C-clip and your hook. Um, just so you know, the colors I'll be using today, um, for the white that's in the middle here, I'm going to be using silver, my silicone silver. For the turquoise in there, I'm going to use white. And then for the outer blue, the dark blue, I'm going to use limited edition uh, blue bands. So I'm going to go ahead and lay my silver first. We're going to actually stretch that across all three pins in the front, no twisting. And then we're going to lay a V on these uh, pins here. So you're going to stretch one out to the left and then one out to the right, like so. So just in case you're confused on the colors, just to show you one more time, the white in the middle here is what the silver is. And then that white in the V shape is what the uh, turquoise is. All right, so now we need to add our cap bands on, which are going to go on these two pins here. So that's where I'm going to use my blue limited edition. And this is the one, the color that you see the most in the bracelet, like in the, on the front of it. So I'm going to place it on and then wrap it around again with my finger. And then we're going to do the same on the right side. So place it on using the tip of my finger to push it back on like so. All right, so now that we have the cap band on, we're going to go inside the cap bands and we're going to bring the silver to the middle here. So you may want to just make sure you have that pushed down a bit. So I'm going to push back my cap band, grab a hold of that silver, and carefully bring it to the middle. Like so. And now we're going to do the same on the left side. So go inside this cap band. Grab your silver, make sure you don't pop off your cap band, stretch that to the center. Just like that. Now for these cap bands, you see this one's nice and straight and this one is a little bit twisted. You want that to stay straight because we're going to be doing some looping with that in a little bit. So just kind of go like that so that you can distinguish the top from the bottom. All right, so now that we've done that, we are going to work with these back bands. We're going to take it off of the pin and we're going to twist it on, turn it on and place it back on the pin like that. So you want that little twist in there. You don't want to take it off and sit it on like that because then there will not be a twist. So when you take it off, you want to kind of turn your hook and place it on like so. So that's what it should look like so far. We're going to push that down a little bit. Now this part is kind of hard to see because you have to see in the pin. Um, but what we're going to do next, let me see if I can zoom in a bit, is we have to go inside this middle pin and grab the white bands. So the ones that we just laid on here, we need to grab the bottom of it. Or is that the top of it? Anyway, the other side of the white and loop it back. So go inside the middle, push back any bands that are in the way, grab the topmost band, and bring it back to itself. So for me, the way that I laid them, it's going to come to the right first. Like so. So now that whole white band is on the left side. And now the, the next one's easy because there's nothing else in the way. So you just push your hook down in there and grab that white and then bring it back to itself. So it should look like that. 
So now we're going to do, and I didn't say this in the beginning, um, just be aware that there are a lot of looping steps for this bracelet, but once you do it, you know, several times, it gets a lot easier, but it does, there is a lot of steps, so I just wanted to tell you guys that. All right, so now we have to do like a slip knot part. We're going to grab the bottom band from this cap band and bring it up, and then we're going to grab the bottom band from the white and bring it up. That's why we needed to make sure these weren't twisted. So grab the bottom band of this cap band, and you're going to bring it up and over and release. And then we need to do the same thing to the white. So you're just going to, from the outside, just grab that bottom band and bring it up. Do the same on the left. Grab the bottom band of the blue, bring it up and grab the bottom band of the white. Grab that white and bring it up like so. And now we're going to just push down the sides a little bit and we need to release the middle bands. Just make sure you don't pull off your side band. So just grab it with your hook and lift it over the pin like so. So it's just kind of sitting back there. Push everything down and now we're going to add on our next layer. So um, the first layer was a little bit different than what the rest of the bracelet will be. So just bear with me. Now we're going to add on another silver to start off our next uh, layer. Now we're going to add on our V band. So we're going to lay one to the left and one to the right. Now we're going to do our cap bands on the left and right pin here. So remember it's only going around two times. Place it on and sorry I just put my hook right in your view. Like so. So now we need to loop back this silver to the middle. So push back your cap band, grab a hold of the silver, bring to the center. Do the same on the left side. And to the center. Push it down a little bit. And now we need to bring the white to the front here. So I'm going to grab a hold of my white, turn it and twist it on top. Do the same on the left side. Twisting it on top. So we have a bunch of layers on there right now. We have to bring over the other side of the whites that we just added on. And remember, we have to go inside this pin to do that. So push back any band in your way and grab the top most band in there, which is white for me, and bring it to itself. Go back in, grab the other band in there, and bring that back to itself. Like so. So now, just like we did the first time, we have to do the slip knots on our blue cap band and on the white. So you're going to grab the bottom of the blue and bring it up. And then now you need to grab the bottom of the white and bring that up. And we're just doing that from the outside of the pin. Repeat on the left side, grabbing the bottom of the blue and bringing it up. And then grab the bottom of the white and bring it up. So now we have four bands on here. So we're going to have to do an inverted stitch for this part. Um, and for this layer, it's going to be different from the remainder of the bracelet because it's the first time we're doing the inverted stitch. Um, so this time only, we're going to go, we're going to stay outside of the top band. We're going to go inside the next two bands and you're going to grab the bottom band and then bring that up. We're going to do the same on the left side. So we're going to stay outside of the top band and then go inside the next two like that. So you're in the next two and grab the bottom and bring it up like so. I'm just going to push my sides down a little bit and now I'm going to release the middle. 
just bring it up and over. So now this layer that I'm getting ready to do is going to be exactly the way we'll be doing it for the rest of the bracelet. So stretch your silver straight across all three pins. And now we need to add on our V bands. So we're going to stretch one to the left and then one to the right. Like so. Add on our cap band. Loop back the silver band back to itself. Do the same on the left. And now we're going to transfer our white back here. So just grab your white and turn it and reattach. And do the same on the left. Push it down a little bit because now we're going to go inside the middle here and we're going to grab the other side of that white band and bring it back to itself. So remember, it's once you move those two bands out of the way on top, it will be the most top band. Bring it to itself. Go back in and grab the next band. Like I said, the left side's easier once you get that right one looped. So now we have a lot of bands on here. So I know it may be a little difficult, but if you have different colors, it should be a little easier. So now, and excuse my cold. Um, so now we're going to grab the bottom of the blue, doing that slip knot part again. And now the bottom of the top white one. And then we have to do the same on the left side. Bottom of the blue. And then bottom of the white. Bring those up. So last time we only had four bands on here. But right now and going forward there will be five. So we're going to stay outside of this top band. But we're going to go inside the next three bands so that we can grab the bottom band. So staying outside of the top. I'm going to push my hook inside the next three. So there should be three pushing out of your hook. And grab that very bottom band, which is white for me, and bring it up. We're going to do that exact same inverted step, except now we're only going to be pushing out two bands. So we're going to be outside of the top band, inside the next two, grabbing the, bo the bottom, which is blue. Then we'll do the same on the left. So I'm going to go inside the three. Grab that bottom white, bring it up, and then we're going to go inside, let me move them a little bit. So we're staying outside of the top one, but inside the next two. And grab the bottom, and bring up, like that. I'm going to push it all down, and now we can release the middle bands. And now we're going to do that all over again. So starting with my silver. Like so. And now we'll add on our two white V bands. And now our cap bands on the front two pins. Alrighty, so now we can go ahead and loop back our silver. Bring it to the center. Remember, make sure you don't lose that cap in. And now we're going to transfer the white. Make sure you're turning as you're placing it on.
And now we're going to push inside of this center here. Grab the top band. Bring it back to itself. Go back in and grab the next one. So now we're going to do our slip knots. So we're grabbing the bottom of the blue, which was our cap band. Bring it up. And then we'll grab the bottom of the white one. The top one, the bottom. And then we'll do the same on the left side. So as you can see, my bands are twisted a little bit here. So I'm just going to fix that. And then bring up the bottom blue. And then the bottom of the top white. So now it's time to do the inverted stitches again. So we have five bands. So we're going to stay outside the top one, going inside the next three, and grab that very bottom one. And now we're going to go inside the next two. That top one should be left out. In the next two, grab the bottom. Bring that up. Same on the left side. I'm going to go inside these three, grab the bottom, bring it up, and now we're going to go inside the next two, grab the bottom. So hopefully you guys are able to pick up on that rather quickly, hopefully. And now we can go ahead and release the center bands and push down. Okay, so we'll repeat that process again. Silver. And then lay your V. And now our cap bands. Loop back to itself. Well, no, actually, loop back to the center, <laughs> not itself. I'm just going to fix this because it's twisted. Okay, so we're going to transfer our V white bands back. Okay, and now we have to loop back the white back to itself. So push back it middle bands. Grab the top white. Go back in, grab the other one. Bring it back to itself. Now we're going to do the slip knot of the bottom blue. And now we need to bring up the bottom band of the white. Coming over to the left, do the same thing. Bring the bottom up of the blue. Bring the bottom up of the white. Now we're going to do our inverted stitches. So we're going to push back the three middle bands. And grab that bottom band. Bring it up. And now we're going to go inside the next two. The two center ones, grab the bottom, bring it up. Do the same on the left side. Push back your three, grab the bottom, and now two. Push back your two middle, and bring up. And now we release the middle band. Okay, so just make sure that you, um, this part, it should be white, blue, white. So just make sure they're laying like that because mine were just twisted and I had to fix it. So now I'm going to grab my silver and start that all over again. So now I'm just going to kind of do it and you guys can just like follow along just to make sure that you guys 
got the hang of it because I know it can be a little tricky at first. It's a little twisted, so that's I'm just fixing it so it is laid correct. There we go. So that white one's actually supposed to be on top. Like that. So that bean should always be in the middle. It usually stays, but I don't know, I must have pushed it too hard. So now we do the slip knot part. Make sure your bands are straight so you're grabbing the correct bottom band. Now we'll go through the next three. Grab the bottom, bring it up. I did it again. This blue should be on the bottom. Sorry for this layer. I know it got a little crazy and messed up, but hopefully from the previous instruction, you guys know what to do, hopefully. So when you're pushing that down, that's where I would just be careful that they stay in order so you don't have to worry about fixing it like I had to twice. And don't forget to release your center. My bands are also thicker since I'm using silicone um, and limited edition. So if you're using opaque, you'll probably have a little bit more room than what I have on the pins. Back to white. Almost forgot.
So remember that should be in the middle. That blue is a part of that cap band that we put on. That should always be in the middle of the other two bands. So I'm just trying to fix that real quick. I'm just going to do this one more time. Just fixing this now so it's not twisted. Pushing back the three middles to grab the bottom. And now I'm going to push back the two middles and grab the bottom. And release the center. So like I said, it's going to start growing. You can start seeing it growing here. And then the back side. So you can start seeing it grow out here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and finish my bracelet off camera. And if you have any problems, please watch the previous instructions. And I will be right back. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get it closed out. Um, so basically, I've already released the middle, uh, like, cap bands off, and we have three bands left on each side. Um, just make sure that they are laying um, just like they would be if you were continuing the bracelet. So I have the white, the blue, and then the white. So we're just going to bring the bottom band up on each pin and release, like so. Now, I'm just going to bring these four bands together and attach my C-clip. But you could also, if you don't want four bands, you could also bring the blue up like that. And then bring this up and over and release it on both sides. And then you would only have two bands and you could connect uh, the cap band that way. But I'm going to do it with four. I just felt like I liked it a little bit better. So I'm just going to grab these two. Place it on my hook, and I'm going to pick up the, these two, like so, and then I'm going to pull my bracelet out. I don't want to stretch it too much, I'm just going to do it like that. So we have these uh, four bands, and that's where we're going to attach our C-clip, if I can get my finger through. There we go. So make sure you get your C-clip around all four if you're doing all four like me. Come around to the other side, which we have this cap band here from the beginning. And attach. There we go. Like so. So 
like I said, you could do it where you only have two there. Um, but I liked it better with the four, but it's up to you. I had to kind of improvise on the closing part of it. So I think this bracelet's super cute. There you have the completed Bellagio Fountain Bracelet. Let's see if I can zoom out a little here. Nope, I can't. Sorry, guys. A little close up. Um, but again, this super cute bracelet was created by Suzanne HB. You can find her on Instagram as crazy just might work. Uh, so hopefully you like this bracelet. I think it's super cute. And I uh, will see you at my next video. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.